Hello, welcome to Atrocious Gameplay. We are getting into some post-rotation gameplay now that it is fully uploaded, rotated on PTCGO. We're going over one of the decks that just about everybody loves playing. It is Eternatus VMAX. Now, this deck that I have built through Eternatus VMAX is pretty similar to the seventh place list at the Alice Pog Championships. I can't remember the person's first name off the top of my head, but I believe it was Salazar was their last name. Um, this deck is including a um it's including a card that i think most everybody should be playing right now in turbo patches i think that turbo patches are a very very good card especially for a deck that is manually attaching every single turn like eternatus um because i don't necessarily know if like weavile is the best way to play this deck so we're going up against adp this is kind of a tough matchup i feel like because of the fact of crowbat but we do get some shenanigans that we might be able to do. Now, this is a kind of looking boxed version. This is a box looking version. We'll see if they go with a uh, um, a captivating Wink Mawile. That would be very interesting. Be very annoying, but very interesting as well. We do have other great balls though. Two, so if they do play these down, we do have a way to, we do have a couple ways actually of getting like a, uh, a uh, crowbat or something like that to help us now there they go with that i guess that's fine using that turbo patch better than doing nothing metal saucer going over there so they're probably going to be able to ultra creation next turn i would think especially with that right there so here we go we're going to lay all of these pokemon down we're going to put a ping on this guy because that's all that we need on him uh, we can find this Zigzagoon. Put another ping on him. Yeah, we can do this. We can do this as well. So, Crobat here. I think I'm going to fail it because I have the Crobat in my hand. And then we're going to Pierce to grab Absol here. What's your retreat cost? Your retreat cost is two, so you're probably not manually retreating. So maybe I should go with another Zigzagoon here and then go Capture Energy. That might be the best play in my personal opinion, finding that Capture Energy. Although we don't, actually we could go Hiding Energy since our bench is going to be full after this uh, Crobat here. So Hiding Energy is probably actually the better idea. So we're going to put this ping right here. The reason that I'm putting all my pings here is in the fact that then we may not have to have like a full entire bench to be able to KO this when it comes up next turn. Um, so here we go. Great ball. We do have a Crobat for next turn because we are evolving into a Turnitus VMAX. And then uh, I guess we could go Power Accelerator. Although I don't know if I really want to because of Piers. And I don't think it's going to do much in the long run. So I'll just pass it away. I'll just pass it away. Maybe I could have done that actually to this Eternatus. That might have actually been a really good idea. But that's all right. that's fine. We'll live with it. We'll live with it. Have yet to see a turbo patch though. So here comes the evolution to bring out the Berserker. Better be a gold Berserker. Aha, there we go. Y'all know that I am uh I'm hooked on the Gold Berserker for those of you that may watch the Twitch channel. I've showed you the, uh, we've seen three Gold Berserkers pulled on my channel. And you may have seen it on YouTube as well. Um, so definitely a card that we are, uh, definitely a card that we know of. It's a, it's a very cool card in my personal opinion. Okay, they're looking for a switch. They need a switch or an air balloon or something to get this guy out. There's a switch. The gold, they're tricking out, except they have a promo Zashun, which is pretty cheap, and not a promo to Dene. What the heck? You're flexing, but you're not flexing hard enough. I'm just kidding. They have more They have more gold than we do. They have more gold than we do. Here comes the water energy. Here comes the altar creation. I think I'm going to be able to get a lot of Pokemon down, though. So that's the good news. That is definitely good news, especially because we have all of these basic Pokemon in our hand right now. So we're gonna evolve to this guy. We are going to lay you down, we're gonna lay you down, and then we're gonna lay you down because again, we need that full bench. So here we go, Crobat right here. Boom, ba-doom, ba-doom, ba-doom. This is a lot of different supporters in our hand, 
We need to remember that a boss... A boss is cool, but we don't want to use that yet. I don't even think I want reset stamp. I don't even want to do research because I don't want to get rid of all these Pokemon. Um, but here we go. Dread End. No acceleration for them. Didn't really need all the Crobat pings right there, but uh, it ends up working out. So there's Turbo Patch. There's a Hiding Energy. Here's another VMAX. That's good. We can get rid of that VMAX. Attach a Hiding Energy to it. Um, be able to use really whatever we want. I don't think we really need to go for the Berserker. I think we can just kind of hit whatever's in front of us, to be honest. But Metal Claw. Okay, switching that up. Cheeky move. But they're only doing 250 right now. They're only doing 250, and if they hit me with this, they, uh, they're they dead. They hit me with this, and they're down three metal patches. So here's a Zamazenta. All we have to do, again, all the more reason to not use the research, just gust around it. We already have our win cons right here um, going on. They attack, we KO, we just gust up anything else in the very next turn. Especially because we have this going on right here. And we have peers in our hands, so absolutely filthy, disgusting, broken deck. So here we go. We go up to the Eternatus. Um, we don't really need peers. I don't want to use peers as of right now. I don't want to use peers. I don't want to use research. I think I'm just going to go in once again with a dread end. Take this knockout right here. And then here we go. Let's see if they can do it. They'll probably put up the... Um, the Zamazenta right here, but three cards. One of them could be like a research, I guess. Although they're down how many research? They're down three research, so I'm not sure. I'm not sure. They may just put this up as a... No, they're down all four, so they have to Eldegoss in order to draw a ton more cards. If anything, they need a reset stamp. If anything. But yeah, we've got the hiding energy right here. We also have the boss. They're just going to scoop. They know it. They know in our big hand the reason that we haven't researched or anything like that. And there we go. A game one win. Quick game one. Thankfully, we were able to get all of our Pokemon out, find a lot of our ball search. But uh, bada bing, bada boom. Eternatus getting the KO. And here we go. Moving on to hang game two. Haim two. What's a Haim? Not 100% sure. Now looking like a firebox looking thing. Firebox, you do have to be careful. Baby Blacephalon, you have to be careful. Um, because of the same reason, this might actually be someone that I know. I'm thinking that I know who this is. This might be one of our moderators on Twitch, Hunter. I don't know who else would say Hunter, Hunter, A, B. We'll see if I get a message uh, later. So this gray ball is going to be imperative to uh, find out what's going on and look at that we do get an eternatus so that's like not all bad definitely like we definitely want better but eternatus not a horrible thing to have right now so we're gonna put a ping right there we're gonna do attach to the eternatus and uh we're gonna hope that we top deck something please <laughs> really gonna hope that we're top decking something and here we go here we go all right, so Pokecom coming in. Going to be a Scorch deck. Okay, but again, still got to worry about the things like Heatran. Heatran is definitely a Pokemon that uh, that uh, will kind of ruin Eternatus' day. So we got to be wary about that. We got to be careful. I think for the most part, we're just going to leave this dude in the active right here. We definitely do not want... Um, too many shenanigans going and it looks like they're gonna have the float up going right now probably again they want the uh ooh, that's a good deck to hit so here we go um we're gonna scoop this guy up we're gonna bring you up we're going to ping right here we're going to dark city um we could reset stamp for one more card i think we probably could um, it's really weird of a reset stamp to do that, but I really need to draw more cards right now. I need to get something going, and uh, there's a research. That is something going. So we're going to do another ping. We're going to do it, um, let's see, 30. So we could go right here at this point. 
so we're gonna put this absol down the absol is not really gonna matter at all it's just something that i really want and we did not find hmm dang we did not find a uh a little dude a big dude i'm sorry so we're just gonna go into here we are going to quick ball Yeah, we're gonna go ahead quick ball this and then we're gonna bring out let's say crow no something that we probably are okay with going to the bottom of the deck if if they marnie us probably going to be maybe this hoopa right here let's pull out this guy pull out this guy and then i'm just gonna hold it for right now I imagine that they're gonna bounce it here shortly so let's just hold right now the peers I'm thinking of grabbing either crowbat or I'm grabbing a uh, a Eternatus VMAX probably going to be an Eternatus VMAX so then we can continue going but there's Senna Scorch right there no heat train yet We do have the scoop up net. One could probably argue, Jake, maybe instead of the Hoopa, you should have grabbed the Crobat. So then with the Pierce, you can evolve into a turn to VMAX and then go into a uh go into a Crobat to be able to draw more cards. And you're probably right, that might be the better situation. Overall, that might be better. Not a hundred percent sure though, probably. They are gonna need another switch, or else this Jirachi here is dead again like i i'm just i keep thinking about heatran right now i don't know if they know that air balloon doesn't work on jirachi but here we go it's going to be our turn now so we're going to piers we're going to grab eternitas v max and maybe capture energy I think could be good here that way that we can kind of save ourselves a little bit um, attach this capture energy on something so uh, by golly which one could we do um, I guess it doesn't necessarily matter too much we could go like this this zigzagoon right here slab down in a turn to V be able to turbo patch be able to turbo patch nice attach it to this guy so then the peers next turn can work out really really well so we're gonna go into this eternatus here it's gonna be kind of like overkill for sure on the jirachi but i think it's okay for the most part so there we go a research in our hand i think maybe peers is just better so then we can secure our energy but they're gonna go in with a senta scorch there's that there's that one uh big like more health energy so now it has 340 300 and 90 hp definitely definitely a big dude definitely a big dude right now there's the heatran i told you all that heatran was coming all they need is that switch all they need is that switch for the heat train good thing we grabbed the eternatus no stadium by them though no stadium yet they do they have only gone through like half of their deck so maybe they're a couple i would imagine that they were playing like two stadiums maybe three um maybe they just got unlucky maybe prize one haven't hit another one yet they do have to retreat though and they only have two energies on this dude So we'll see. I'd imagine that maybe they, oh, there's Bird Keeper. I was gonna say, maybe they don't have a way to retreat, but. Okay. High Heat Blast, sure. I mean, I, whatever. Um, okay, so we get a Hiding Energy. We get an Energy, we can put that right there. Um, scoop up now. I think because we top decked an Energy, I think we're okay to go ahead and uh research this turn because we don't theoretically really need to draw cards right now we do have an turn that says v max right here we do have another scoop up net so i'm just going to do the same thing with zigzagoon here 
boom, hit that guy. Um, I think we're okay to bail on the Eternatus. Trying to think about what I want. I think I might just fail it so then I can do another, so then I can do a Crobat right here and draw four. Nice, we got a lot of good stuff. Thin out the deck a little bit, grab this Crobat. And then go ahead, Drennen, take two more prizes right now. Now here's the crazy thing that can go on. Unless they go in with Heatran, which I don't know how they would do it because just bringing Heatran up right now doesn't work. They would have to Welder, Attach 3, Retreat like Eldegoss or something to be able to do this. So they might go ahead and attack. G-Max sent Inferno. Um, one, two, three, four, five energies max that they can do. Five, 240. So they would be able to knock out if they get a welder attached to. Um, but now what we can do is we could just gust things up, honestly, which is a really interesting idea to do. Although if they go in with this Heatran, if they go in with this Heatran and do like a retreat method, um, we're just gonna sit here and look pretty, I guess. <laughs> we have another fully powered Eternatus VMAX. If they take a knockout here, we just commit to this guy. There's no really other reason not to. Uh, we go in with like Crobat to, we put the height energy somewhere. We go in with Crobat, try to draw more cards. There's that, they don't even knock out right now. I'd like to imagine that, I mean, we could we could win this game here very, very soon. Um, okay, Hiding Energy. Just put it on really anything, I guess. It's Crobat. Sure. We could hit into this, or we could go Boss's Orders. I think we go Boss's Orders Heatran or Eldegoss. I'm thinking, I'm thinking we go into the Heatran. I think Heatran's kind of our biggest issue. So boom, we knock that out. We've only seen one boss and it was the one that we just threw down. So quick ball is really good. That way that we, when we, uh, that way when it's our turn and we have this bench spot open, we can discard like a card or so um, to be able to do more. Again, no stadium from them though, and they've got 23 cards left, or 22, I'm sorry. And again, all we need, all we need is a uh, research. So there's 240 right there. A welder could provide an issue for us, especially because they are doing 280 now, 280. Welder would do really well for them. So we go to turn to VMAX here. We have another Piers. So we get rid of this Hoopa. We grab this Eternatus V. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to research because I need to find boss. Here we go. We've got boss in our hand. Nothing here. We got four cards left. Nothing here. No, none of those. We might go in and try to do a Venomous Fang, just kidding. But here we go into this guy, make them have, because here's what they can't do. Here's what they can't do. They can't Welder and Boss in the same turn, right? And so they have to either choose, okay, either Gust this up to not KO it because I have 340 and they're currently doing 280 health, um, or just whack into this like welder build it up whack into this whichever one whichever one they do we have win next turn because we put them in a position to where they can't take three prizes we put them in a position with that retreating that they can't take three prizes right now unless they like play pokemon catcher or something cheeky like that which at that point i would just say ggs you attacked out the deck But here we go, here we go. They're deciding on what they want to do. Remember that Absol is in here, so like if they go Chirachi, like they have to switch. Have to have a switch card. 
But again, boss's orders. This guy, anyways, just has one. Plus, we have a dark city here, so free retreat no matter what if you die or not. But I, I for for me personally, discarding or putting that heat train on the bench is a huge liability. I mean, they already have Dedenne and they already have Eldegoss on the field. So like there's several prizes right there, but like for my opponent at least, I don't know if benching Heatran was the right play. I really feel like that you should play Heatran when you're ready to attack, be a surprise. Because that is like your one-shot dude. That is your the dude that is gonna one-shot everything for you. Still going here. Again, they weldered, so they can't boss. We'll see if they can even retreat this Jirachi right here. We'll see if they can even retreat the Jirachi right here. Because he can't even play Bird Keeper now. They are down three switches. Three switches. There's the fourth switch. So they will switch. But again, hitting into Zigzagoon. GG's, buddy. Especially if I know you. We're just going to bring up Turntus. We're just going to gust up anything. Bring up Dedenne right here. And then go ahead. Dread end into them for the KO. For the W. GG's. So this Eternatus now, two for two. We'll see if we can go three for three for the video now. We'll see if we can go three for three. I'm not 100% sure how many turbo patches I've actually hit. Now that I think about it, I'm not sure how many turbo patches I've actually hit. Probably not a lot. If I, if I had to take a guess for the YouTube video, I probably haven't hit a lot of uh, turbo patches. But we'll go into game three. We'll see if we can get three wins in three games with this deck I, again. Eternatus strong deck in my personal opinion my buddy gyro sean who is a co-host on the metapod a podcast i do with him um all about the pokemon tcg he would probably say that Eternatus is still not tier one but i'm gonna i'm gonna keep saying it i'm gonna keep saying it okay so it's okay because we have turbo patches it's okay that this energy goes in the discard in my personal opinion sableye this is something that some people have talked about putting an Eternatus VMAX it's like a it's a decent reply if you get the energies attached to it and things like that and so here we go Crobat so we're gonna put this out just for them um I guess we can Crobat for one because we're gonna research so we'll see what we get off this one a great ball let's see what we get Ooh, okay so we could get Absol right here now Absol wouldn't really matter because we have Dark City so I think maybe this guy is better for the long run. So we can put this guy down. We can scoop up net. Bring this guy up. Go right here. Yes, I would like to ping on the... Uh, what do you have? 120? Maybe I just go here. Because he's the big dude. I think I'm going to attach right here. I think I'm going to attach right here. So then we can get an attack off. We'll just go research now. We do have the ability to uh, go into Eternatus now, which is nice. So we go up right here. We scoop up net. Get you, put you back down. Boom, put you right there. I don't think I need to worry about Absol right now, to be honest. So let's see if we can hit one of these two. No. No, good golly. Turbo Patch is not my friend goodness but we will use assault gate because we did move to the active spot during this turn just do a little bit of chip damage here not gonna hurt us too bad i feel like now we do have to kind of be careful if we want to use turbo patch again because like i mentioned earlier like I mentioned earlier, um, Turbo... Well, actually, I don't know if I mentioned this earlier, but Turbo Patch only works on basic Pokemon. So we got to be really careful when it comes to uh, this Eternatus V right here into the VMAX. I think I'm going to lead into this guy, though. We're just going to put you down. I will go ahead and research because Turbo Patch again. That's very interesting. 
That's a very interesting situation. What we could have done is because we had Dark City, we could go in, but I mean, we don't even KO, so I don't even know if that's the best situation right now. So we'll go Zigzagoon, Ping, right. I guess we should start going on this Hoopa here. And we'll save room for like a Crobat next turn. But we're just going to go back. We're just going to retreat. We don't want free chip damage on this dude. Um, or maybe what we could do. Maybe what we could do is we could do this. And then we can go here. Hit into that. And then accelerate. It doesn't accelerate. You may attach a dark energy card. So I'm wondering then if the ruling is... So is the ruling it's only dark energy when you attach it to a dark Pokemon? Alright, so here's a free 90 chip damage onto this Eternatus. Really going to set up the Eternatus VMAX, I feel like. Really going to be able to set up the Eternatus VMAX. What is your... Yeah, I don't think you have a retreat cost. Yeah, because of Dark City. That's fine. Here's an Arctozolt. This is something that we've played around with a little bit on stream is Arctozolt. So uh, it'll be curious to see how this specifically plays out. We'll just go another Hiding Energy uh, Tool Scrapper. Yep, there is a Cape of Toughness that we can throw down. Um, we're just going to go here. I'm just going to fail it though. I'm just going to fail it. Because we have nothing right now. No uh, Turbo Patch right here. Hopefully, I mean, we do have a Turbo Patch right here. Whew! That was close. That was close. I was going to say, we need to hit into this guy. Evolve right here. Turbo Patch again. Still doesn't work. That's three of them, right? Yep, three of them right there. So, uh... Oh, we evolved this bench one. Oh, boy, I wasn't paying attention. Oh, boy. That's very sad. Man. Let me just give a uh, let me just give an oh woe to this guy. Say, uh oh, I attached to the wrong dude. Wow. Woof. So that's something you gotta really be wary of because this is something that people feel like is different than IRL events, especially on PTCGO. And this is just any sort of uh, event in general. You really gotta be careful with uh with what's going on in the game so um i'm not 100 percent sure what we do here so we go a ping maybe right here we get a capture energy going on to do nothing do we just gust up and try to ko something we can't even ko that zigzagoon i guess it would be fine to try to trap this uh sableye right here just go power accelerator try to do that maybe i'm not sure the good news is we would take a ko next turn we would take a ko next turn if they have no way to switch i'd imagine that they would have a way to switch especially with this and this right here but uh it's some chip damage right here maybe we get some scoop up nets crazy claw gonna be taking a knockout for sure i know that fortunately they have no uh they have no arctos old out so they're just gonna kind of be sitting here for the most part Here's another Eternatus VMAX, if only I had gotten this earlier. But uh, Dread End, taking 210 damage, basically hits everything right now in the format. And I think right now what their game plan is, what their game plan is, is to, maybe not, I was going to say, well maybe it still is, go into Hoopa, like retreat into Hoopa, be able to uh, put on 90 damage, and then really put pressure with a Sable IV. So really what we're going to be doing is we're going to be try to be drawing for our uh, other uh, dude. This Cape of Toughness doesn't really matter too much, in my opinion. But yeah, no doubt that we really screwed up. No doubt that we really screwed up in this game. Um, <laughs> we really screwed up not a... Uh, not evolving that one into this Eternatus right there. Why are they just benching and discarding, I guess? 
going into five now they are going to be aware that i'm probably going to be out of bosses after this turn so they can stall in with the uh with the pokey doll salt gave right there not going to place that down that's probably going to be for the next sableye or something like that there's another crowbat right there that's pretty cool so uh we'll put a ping um i'm not sure if this ping necessarily really matters but it is a Pokemon to put down. Maybe I should have saved it. But once again, like we have scoop up nets. I think we have one more scoop up net. So um, this pink can just go right here, I guess. I just wanted it out of my hand. Draw four more cards. No. Uh, none of the good old uh, boss. So there's going to be a knockout right there. And it looks like we're just going to lose this game. I don't know if we can come back from this game. Very, very tough. Very, very tough. So even if we just go in Dread End, we're just going to give him a heart because I think that's going to be a GG. So all they have to do is bring that up. Didn't find our last boss off that Crobat, but you know what? We played this pretty poorly. We'll let them take a knockout. But again, you got to be careful. You can't be just going mindlessly um, at times, especially if you're in like a tournament setting or something like that. It's just a mistake that happens in the game. Happens to the best of us playing PTCGO. But, uh, yeah, I mean, you just got to take it and you just got to move on. Unfortunately, no three for three for us. But um, I definitely think, whoops, that's a different list. I definitely think if we uh, if we play that better, we would have had a much better shot in that game. But here's the list for all of you that may want to see it. I find it pretty good. You're not always going to hit heads on Turbo Patch, as you may have seen in some of those games. You're not always going to hit heads which is understandable but at least the uh the turbo patch gives you an opportunity to attach multiple energies in a single turn and may help you come back in the game if if i had hit heads on a turbo patch on that bench eternatus v max in at the very end there maybe i would have been more likely to just retreat into that eternatus v max and then um gone from there in the game and just gone in with the fresh eternatus v max and knocking out with the dread and that might have actually changed the game i'm not 100 percent sure but again here's the deck list if you wanted i will put a non max rarity version whatever um into the description below you can always see the deck lists in the description below thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far wait let me switch uh let me switch screens for you if you've made it this far this is a little bit different of a, I guess I should go to this YouTube screen. There we go. That's a little bit better. But here's a code for you on this lovely Saturday when this video comes out. Here's a code for you. I have a bunch of extra codes lying around. So I said might as well give them out in the YouTube videos for anybody who watches this far. And they're not just trying to take the deck profile and just run. So yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Remember, we're not very good at video games, but we have a fun time doing it. Go check us out on Twitch, twitch.tv slash atrocious gameplay. We're playing a lot of post rotation right now, playing a lot of PCCGO, um, trying to become the best that we possibly can. And again, deck list is in the description. Like, comment, subscribe if you like this content. Maybe you want to watch again. And uh, I'll check you out later, gamers.